Hi guys. Um, hope everyone is doing okay at home. And uh, we all stuck at home for the past two and a half weeks, and uh, we have a lot of customer asking since that they can't actually come to us. How are they gonna do it? How are they gonna survive at home for maintaining their skin? Um, first of all, I always say cleaning is the first step to maintain a better skin. So if you don't have a good skin, you have a lot of that skin, that skin layer, your um, epidermal layer is not clean enough or healthy enough, no matter how good is the serums and the cream that you're gonna apply, they're not gonna be able to penetrate 100%. So we go through step by steps and we will go through um, all the different cleanses in this video. So you will have a better understanding what makes um, a cleanser that's suitable for your skin and to make a cleaner skin. Hope that makes sense. Uh, this is my first ever video. It's so hard for me to do it. So usually I'll do eye makeup remover first. It doesn't really matter if you do have makeup or not. You still need eye makeup remover. I know it's not everybody's favorite. And it's extra steps that you have to do but if you don't want to have fine lines and wrinkles you better start using it i say designed for delicate area i would usually just use a cotton pad to wipe it down the eye area and the lip area as they create it ridges easily and here so they What's the difference between the eye makeup remover and the normal cleanser is they both detergent. However, detergents are more hot in a harsh uh, words to describe a cleanser. So they are much more gentle. They have hyaluronic acid in it. So they rehydrate your skin to protect your skin, not to get stripped too much over a detergent, which means that you will minimize your fine lines and your wrinkles and it also is a treatment so sometimes when we are doing facials um we use the eye make we use this eye makeup remover to tap it on the cotton pad and we put it over the eye area it's just like a soothing and calming eye mask and you can use this at home as well if you don't have a proper eye mask so we go from eye makeup remover, remove the eye um, impurity. Not necessarily is makeup, but they just be more gentle than a normal cleanser. And then we have micellar water and we have micellar water gel. Okay. Micellar water is very well wide for people who have makeup. Usually they wanted to remove the impurity. Um, instead of using too much of the detergent because a lot of people been experienced even though they use cleansing milk they have to use twice and you're still wiping it off some sort of a foundation that you can see whereas micellar water they are non-alcohol they are work as a cleaning water not as harsh as a detergent um so they so they also not as dehydrated your skin not as stripping away the hydrations from your skin and they also cleaning properly and then germane de cappuccini they also have the um micellar water gel that's in a better quality in a sense that they put more hyaluronic acid in it because germanes are very good in terms of putting ingredients in together so they're protecting your skin by not washing um, away your normal hydrations and your nutrients. I will show you how to use this. This is my favorite. And then this is a cleansing oil. Cleansing oils are designed to have um, a re makeup remover um, because most of the dirt are sitting under your pores and you need to be having oils like emollients and oil in and and push it away foaming cleanser will not do the job cleansing milk and cleansing oil are usually will remove and dissolve um 
purity and makeup that's what um usually we do as you a lot of people heard of shuri mura they the signature is more like the cleansing oil a lot of people know so cleansing oil has been has been in market for a very long time and i don't need to explain to you how they work really um but if you're using cleansing water on an oily skin you will have more breakout Typically, a lot of cleansing oil are made from mineral oil. So if you don't use a proper foaming cleansers or enzyme cleansers to dissolve the oiliness, it will be clogging your pores. And then it goes from... This is what you call the 365 scrub. It's not actually a scrub. They call it 365 because as it, it is as mild as you can use it throughout the year every day. But the main ingredients in there are enzyme. So they design for you instead of um, using a foaming cleanser as in oily skin, they give you the enzyme instead. And I have a little bit of granule in it, but it's very soft and dissolvable. So you wash your face um, after you use cleansing oil or cleansing milk. These are the powder. It's the enzyme powder. If um, some of your clients went to Japan before and you probably see Japanese, they do have a little capsules and they have enzyme powder in it and you pop it out every now and then and mix a bit of water and they foam up. And it's designed for a better exfoliation instead of a granule. And um, a lot of people use it um, instead of the granule because they don't like the harsh feeling um, that hurting their skin, especially on sensitive skin. Especially in winter time as well, when we have cold winter, windy winter, um, you tend to have a lot of um, rednesses and tenderness around your cheekbone area. So a lot of people do not like granule. Then, then you use enzyme powder. This is the, again, it's enzyme, um, but they have apricot, apricot in it, apricot seed in it. So they do have a very strong granule for people who do like coarser feeling. They've, some people do tell me that if they don't have the granule in their scrub, they don't feel like it's actually doing anything. So they, if, if clients that they, they like to have a little bit of a, a physical, um, rub then then i would say this it's tend to do it as a mask so you apply it as a mask because they do have enzyme enzyme usually takes seven minutes to ten minutes to start working to soften up your desk skin layer and then you pop yourself with a little um, water on your fingertip and you rub it with a little bit um, water so because they do have granule inside so once that the enzyme has been softened up you use the granule and rub it off now i before i before i do the video i put some um, foundation on it just to show you how different cleanser remove makeup um, and then i will get my husband who doesn't wear makeup but he's got very dusty um, face, then I will, I will do it on his face on a without makeup skin. So, let's try with a Feelmade. Feelmade is a brand that we um, recently stocked. It's basically, um, they, I wouldn't say they're paramedical grade, but then they're one of the product that they have is where we use it for injectable. But they also have the skincare range, but I have tested um, their range and some of the product is good that I would recommend it later on. So I pop this micellar water on a cotton pad. And I just do circular movement on it. Wipe it off. My original skin color 
it's a little bit red base okay but I don't go on my eye area so I use the micella water just to remove some of my makeup on my forehead and um, that's how it looks like with my cotton and then I use my oil to remove it. So usually I will go, um, I go circular movement for the whole face and then I will go another round again so i use circular movement twice on my face just to make sure everything comes off you really need to push it in um, otherwise it, it, it's it's getting hard um, if you don't push because they, they just don't dissolve they, they dissolve it but then they just don't push it out you see because you do have dirt you do have sunscreen you do have your makeup and it for the whole day they stay they stay in your pores just use a wet cotton and this is how it comes back after i used the micellar water and the cleansing oil afterwards it's pretty clean next the other side i use the germane one so i pop it like this about that size for my this size of my forehead Don't go too high because I don't want you to rub your face like moving around. Just do a little bit of, you know, gentle movement. It comes off like this. And then... Because this micellar water gel are not, they designed for you not to wash it off. You don't need to wash it off. So you can use it twice just to make sure that everything comes off. So this is the second time I use it at the back so you can see that they're still coming off. Now we go with the cleansing milk. Use your finger. Use your finger to rub gently on the surface just to push it away.
usually I have a loo towel. It's like a sponge towel. Remove my face. You can see my skin is actually without makeup, without sunscreen, my skin is a little bit red as well. Let's see if we do double cleanse. See what happens. So this is the second time that I wipe it. You can see that. This is the first time. This is the second time. So even though um, you wipe it again just with towel, you can still wipe off some of the residue. Why do we always promote double cleanse? Because one time never ever gonna be cleansed. And when you touch your face, rubbing your face, cleaning your face, you can feel all the lumps and bumps. If some little pimples that only come up just before your period, I just don't want you to make a big fuss about it because that's hormonal change. And after your period go on, they will usually just settle. There's no need to do extractions. And don't pop, don't don't pop it yourself at home. So I use the other side of my towel to show you how how they go. So you can see I only wipe it once and this is the second time my second cleanse you can tell the difference between with makeup and with makeup and without makeup. Okay, so the final one, you can still see a little bit, but just not as much really. You can do it first or you can do it um, after you wash as well, but I tend to supposed to do it first. So you basically press on it and just allow the eye makeup remover to remove the foundation and such on the surface. You probably ask why do we have to rub it on your face but not on your eyes. It's because you will never find an open pores. You, had, you will never find an open pores around your eye area because the skin are so delicate. So if your skin is very tight, nice and tight, drier skin, they don't have um, open pores, majority, you will not really get dirty inside the pore because they were just basically sitting on the top of the skin. So you go outwards, gently, outwards, gently. It's actually 
quite refreshing. You can remove your lipstick as well. Okay. This is what it comes off. Next, um, I tend to use a lot of um, Jermaine toner nowadays, especially this one. You can see the consistencies of the toner are unlike a normal toner that we use. They're not as liquid. They're a little bit thicker in texture because they have more three layers of like high molecules, low molecules, and medium molecules or hyaluronic acids in it. So they do have a better hydrations for this kind of weather. With this, I will just pop it on my hand and just pat them on. Why do we need to use toner? Good question, Tom. It's because that after you use so much detergent, your pH on your skin are more acid or more alkaline. So there will never be a balance of, you know, between 5 to 5.5, which is the healthy skin layers of pH. Toner is to maintain and put it back your pH balance and its antibacterial layer. So you will not have too much of the oils. Um, they balance up your skins. And if you don't have bacteria on your face, you will not cause this breakout. And then you just pop back your serums and moisturizer. I'll go through that in the next video. Um, but yes, this is how the cleansers are supposed to be at home. So first, you use your eye makeup remover to remove your eye makeup and your lip. Second, if you have a drier skin, do tend to use um, micellar water or micellar water gel and follow with um, uh, cleansing milk. Or cleansing oil if your cleansing oil is not made from mineral oil you don't have to rinse it off with a 365 scrub but if you do have um, your mineral oils do have min uh, mineral oils in it then you do need to have a detergent a harsher detergent to remove the oil to prevent breakout or clog um, but if that's too complicated for you guys, then I would just only suggest it to use um, this just to wipe off twice and use a cleansing milk. I think that is the most easiest way. But for people who have a super sensitive skin and to remove the sunscreen and etc., go with that only mm. and then use a toner wipe off the residue or rinse it it's not designed to rinse you don't have to rinse it but then you know if you think that if you feel cleaner if you rinse it off do so um so yes so this is already 24 minutes video i can't i can't take longer than that um so i will separate into a different video to show you how to do a scrub and uh, a mask at home because the longer the video is, the harder for me to send it out to you, okay? And the next one would be I pull my husband and I use his face to wash it off um, to show you how dirty it can be even though you don't wear makeup. Why you still need a good deep cleanse every night even if you don't have makeup. So I see you soon.